thank you all for being here tonight. It's a real treat for us and something I've looked forward to since uh, the end of July. But I want to say, people have said that this campaign has not been negative, but I would tell you that's not true. My opponent has distorted my record and has tried to tarnish my reputation. The use of a million dollars from who knows where has been used against me. I want to make this clear. I am an Oklahoma Democrat. Oklahoma Democrats are conservative. We are not extreme. You can vilify the East and West Coast Democrats, but do not insult the God-fearing, flag-waving Democrats of Oklahoma. I am a pro-life, pro-gun, pro-education, pro-business, protect our borders Democrat. Don't buy off on this vicious rhetoric that comes from Washington. Folks in Oklahoma want civility, but more importantly, they want results. I am the leader who brings people together. I have a track record my entire life of public service of proving that. I can work with leaders of our Republican legislature, and we can keep balance in Oklahoma, not like what they have in Washington, D.C., where they're out of sync, out of touch, caring about themselves and not about us. I have been my entire life the person who has worked to get results and hasn't worried about getting credit. I've been a workhorse, not a show horse. All I've ever known to do is to roll up my sleeves, jump in the trenches, and get the job done. This is a tough time for Oklahoma and Oklahoma families. We're going to have to tighten our belts again just like you have been forced to tighten yours. I'm the only candidate with experience in appropriations and budget. I'm the only candidate who's been a director of a state agency. My experience throughout all three branches of state government gives me a different perspective of how government is supposed to work together and pull together for the benefit of her citizens. I've been a decision maker all my life. I have the skill set that's needed right now to chart the course and lead the way for the future of Oklahoma. Congresswoman Fallon's ad says she's going to start working hard. Well, I would tell you, no one has worked harder than I have my entire life in public service. And I humbly ask for your support and vote on November 2nd to be your next governor.